Welcome everybody to today's webinar, Design Pathways to Torrens University. I'm Pam Siegel, General Manager for Admissions and Administration, and I'd like to introduce you to Michelle and Marcos from Torrens University. And before I actually let them start, I am gonna ask you to please use the Q&A button um, if you have any questions so that uh, we can answer them all at the end. So I'm gonna hand over now to Michelle and Marcos and I hope you enjoy today's webinar. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. So hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for joining the Design Pathway to Torrens University webinar. So today, me and my colleague Marcus will tell you more about the Torrens University. So our agenda for today's sessions, we'll be covering quite a few exciting items. Uh, so we are going to start with the Torrens University Australia itself, who are we, the campus location, what programs available, then we'll be talking about the Faculty of Design and Creative Technology. Moving on to the specific course in communication design, fashion design, and also interior design. And we'll be also covering about the entry requirement, the pathway from APC to Torrance, scholarship, index, and Q&A. So uh, moving on, let's talk about about uh, Torrance University Australia, who are we? So Torrance University Australia was founded in 2013 and we started teaching in 2014. We had domestic students in various uh, different colleges. And in 2016, we had our first international students. And since then, we've grown into the Australia's fastest growing university with over 11,000 international students as of uh, last year in 2020. So uh, at Torrance, we have over 300 courses available. And as students at Torrance University, you will get access to our global network of students who are graduates or currently studying all over the world. We do offer uh, industry placement with some of the most influential brands in the world. So you will get an opportunity to engage with the industry to gain experience before you graduate it. And as students, you will also so get access to our industry engagement team and you will be having a dedicated success coach. So success coach basically will be there throughout your study to coach you and mentoring you to achieve your career and life goals. There will be there to help you set and set you up for uh, success. And lastly, we also keep a class in a very small class, a uh, very small size. We have approximately 24 students in a class. Can be less, it depends on the subjects uh, that you are selecting. So you'll be having more effective environment for study. Your teacher will know you by name and you will also know who are your classmates. And uh, as I mentioned before, we have over than 11,000 international students with mixed nationality. So we have students that came from six different continents with more than 118 countries. So uh, as I mentioned before, we are the Australia's fastest growing university. And here are the stats that next Torrance University stands out. So we have over 19,000 students in 2020, mixed between international and uh, Australian. Uh, and our hospitality graduate employment rate is about 95%. And in the bottom uh, left, you will see 90% of retention for international students. It means nine out of 10 students are happy when studying with us. They, they stay and they finish their course with us. And about the industry placement, we have over 3,600 industry contacts. Okay, so we have a very strong presence in four states in Australia. So we are currently in Brisbane, in Sydney, Lura uh, for our hospitality program. We also have Melbourne campus and Adelaide campus. So a student can move from one campus to another. So for example, you can start your course uh, in Sydney campus, and then you decide to do your second or finishing your course in Brisbane campus. That's quite flexible for you to choose. 
And at Torrance University, we also have five different faculties in total. So we have business, design and creative technology, which we will discuss shortly, and then hospitality, health, and education. So before sorry to jump we... in, Michelle, sure. sorry, sorry to jump in. I think it's very important to highlight uh, that uh, the price list is the same across all markets and across all campuses. So if a student studies in Brisbane wishes to change to Melbourne, Sydney, there won't be a price increase and there won't be a campus transfer fee. So it's free of charge to move around with Torrance. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, uh, and some picture of our campuses uh, in Sydney. So our campus in Sydney located in Ultimo. And the Ultimo campus is focused with design and creative technology only. So students from other faculty, they will study in different location. And the next one is the Melbourne. So the Melbourne campus located in Flinders Street. Yeah, and uh, we have pretty much all the faculties here at Flinders. And Brisbane, where Marcus based, so Marcus mm -hmm. based in Fortitude Valley campus, and same with Melbourne campus, this campus offer quite variative programs uh, within the campus. Okay, so let's talk specifically about our design and creative technology faculty. So as you can see here, you may notice that we put two logos, uh, Torrance University and Billy Blue College of Design. So our design faculty at Torrance University is run by Billy Blue College of Design. So we have been partnered with Torrance University since 2016. But for Billy Blue itself, uh, Billy Blue has been uh, has experienced more than 30 years uh, as Australia's leading uh, design school. So all so if you confuse what's the difference between Torrance and Billy Blue, so we are the same. We are one. All. Uh, the faculty, design faculty at Torrance University run by Billy Blue College of Design. So once you graduate, you will also have qualification from Billy Blue College of Design at Torrance University, Australia. Yeah. And as you can see here, we are top 10 animation school in Australasia, top 10 best 3D motion graphic school in the world, international school of the year for graphic design, and top 10 animation school in uh, the world. So uh, here are our graduate uh, outcomes. So we have connection to the industry. Industry, Our courses, they are put together in concentration with the industry. So we reach out to our partner and try to understand what skill do they need? What kind of professional they would like to employ? So we make sure our courses are translated to those demands. And of course, we keep our uh, courses updated. We also have the industry engagement team who is responsible for connecting industry partners with students to collaborate on uh, what we call work integrated learning opportunities. So work integrated learning opportunities such as internship or live briefs. So for internship, uh, it allows students to work in office within the organization. So you can be a part of the team part of the meeting and work on some incredible campaigns. And life brief and internship are equally as important for students. So for the life brief, the team works to organize clients to deliver life briefs to a lot of different uh, classes. So for example, a current student, they collaborate with the ABC for a virtual reality project to, uh, for Kokoda's anniversary. That's one of the example of our uh, life brief. And in addition to that, the team also create many more exp experience enabling industry connections, such as guest speakers, special projects, industry career expo. We also have intro graduate showcase and many more. So this will help you to get a job when you graduate. Okay, let's see more stats here. So uh, these are some proof that the country depends not only on traditional industry, but on their creativity and innovation, which means that the qualities in the design and creative technology industry are essentials. So I will just pick one example here, as you can see in this one, global estimated value of the fashion industry is a staggering about 
2.4 trillion USD. So that's a really big uh, number there. Moving on, uh, so these are some career outcomes that you will probably consider uh, once you finish the course. So we offer quite variative uh, courses from communication design and graphic design. We also have the interior design, the digital media design, which split into three courses. We have the 3D design animation, film and video design, and UX and web design. Next one, we also have the branded fashion, and then the general design, the photography and photo imaging, and then uh, under Bachelor of Software Engineering, uh, we offer specialization in AI, artificial intelligence, and also game programming. Yeah. And under design and creative technology itself, we have over 500 industry contacts that include IBM, Sony, ABC, BVN, Blowfish, and many more. So you will have chance and opportunities to work with these uh, companies. Okay, so uh, now we'll be having short brief about three courses that might relate it with the programs that you're currently taking at ABC. Uh, the first one is the Bachelor of Communication Design. So uh, basically this course focus on the creation of visual messages, ideas and information for a range of uh, audience. So as a communication designer, you are responsible to develop the relationship between the viewers and visuals. You use your word and image convey message and idea across multiple platforms. So you can see the product of communication design in your daily activities. This can be included in the campaign in your social media, or maybe the banner that you see in the streets, some logos and many more. So uh, with this program, uh, you will also have some elective units. You can exploring those uh, uh, you can exploring the other programs that we have at Florence through your elective subjects. So you may choose the elective that related, for example, in UX, film and video design, motion graphic design, and many more. So you have the flexibility to do that. And uh, of course, our, our courses also recognized by DIA, the Design Institute of uh, Australia. Uh, and these are some career opportunities that you might see in the previous slides before. So the career path can be included uh, design strategies, service designer, art director, brand and digital designer, illustrator, packaging designer, and many more. And these are some examples of our students' work. And moving on, uh, we talk about the branded uh, Bachelor of Branded Fashion Design. So this program focus on the design production, design production and marketing of uh, garments. Within this program, you are not only learn on how to make an outfit, but also the business of why and what to wear. So this program basically not only teach you about the design itself, but also the business within the fashion uh, industry. Some of the career outcomes can be a fashion buyer, merchandise planner, uh, production manager. You can also launch your own clothing brand. And we also work closely with the industry within this uh, program, such as uh, Folk, Lorna Jane, Stradis, and many more. And this is also one of the examples of our student showcase. Lastly, the interior design. So we have two specialization for Bachelor of Interior Design, the residential and commercial. So both of these program has a really different approach. So uh, as the residential inter interior designer, you will focus on interior of spaces which people live. So this can be included houses, apartment, condos, and, and anywhere 
uh, anywhere else where people reside. Uh, so the architect may build the house, but it's the designer job to make it a home. Yeah. So the, the interior designer is always a matter of balancing the aesthetic uh, and function. So residential interior designer and commercial interior designer will have a different primary focus. So for the residential uh, interior designer itself, uh, the focus is creating a livable space where people live. This means the residential designer needs to be comfortable and uh, usable and will be focused more into the smaller group and a relaxed atmosphere like, like what you have in your home. While the other specialization, the commercial interior designer is focused on the commercial environment or business purposes. This can be included uh, retail, restaurants, hotels, nightclub, workspace, and many more. So the primary focus uh, is different with the residential. The primary focus for commercial is more about the usability, how they maximize the, sp the space to be usable for both employee and customer and how they use that, that space to maximize the profit of their company. Okay, so uh, within this program, we also work closely with our industry partners such as PVM, uh, the retail designer Mirfak, and our own alumni ambassador, Sibella Court, uh, founder of the Society Inc. And these are some examples of our students' uh, artwork. Okay, and lastly, before I offer this to Marcos, here's the bright awards that open for public. So if you would like to participate, please reach out to our uh, representative. Yeah. So next, Marcos will tell you more about the entry requirement pathway and also scholarship. Over to you, Marcos. Thank you very much, Michelle. Uh, thank you, everyone. So uh, we talked about the academic side, the quality of the courses, the content. Let's talk a little bit about entry requirements and from a sales perspective as well. If you have questions about uh, payment structure or scholarships, this is going to be my part now. So uh, basically, the first thing I wanted to reinforce, guys, the pathway agreement Torrance has with APC is very unique. Uh, you guys as students have a lot of benefits. So most of the other pathway partners don't tell this out there but most of them don't have all the benefits that apc has in terms of have a block credit agreement have a packaged agreement we're going to talk a little bit about all those benefits throughout this more towards the end of the presentation so uh firstly entry requirements which a lot of people want to know how can they access uh, our qualifications, Torrance uh, academic courses. So students who successfully graduate from uh, agreed APC program will be directly, uh, automatically eligible for a direct entry, guys. So there's no English test, there's no bureaucracy. It's an easy pathway, it's a direct entry uh, into Torrance University courses with credits. Of course, it's a conditional, uh, offer if you guys you need to meet the requirements of your course at APC it's upon successful completion uh, packaging arrangements are available as well between APC uh, programs leading to Torrance University like we said very important to highlight to start your university journey with Torrance you usually need to pay three subjects and most of the the other pathway partners we have for students to get a COE with us they need to pay for three subjects. So with APC, you can just pay one, you secure your spot and you get your COE. So that's really, really important. So if you could change to the next slide, Michelle, please. Thank you very much. So talking a little bit about credit points, guys, uh, let's try to translate this because for some people, this gets a little bit complicated. So basically coming from a diploma of graphic design, you get 80 credit points. So what does that mean? What's the benefit of that? So basically uh, international students to comply with the full-time study load, they need to do eight subjects a year. So 80 credit points 
corresponds to eight subjects. So basically you're getting one year. So you get one year towards your bachelor. And instead of having to go through three years at Torrance, you just study two years. So you do your diploma of graphic design with APC. And if you decide to do a bachelor of communication design, you just need to do two years with us. So it's a shorter duration and it's a cheaper price as well. So the studies you did at APC during your year are credited towards the bachelor. We are utilizing that. We're taking this into account. Uh, if you do an advanced diploma, you get even more credits. So you, do, you get 160 credit points, which is two years. You just need to study an additional year to complete your Bachelor of Communication Design. So as you can see here, depending on the course, you get uh, a certain amount of credit points. Just something I would like to highlight. I saw a few people getting a little bit in trouble with that. Uh, if, if you as a student, if you're planning to apply, if you're planning to apply for a 485, a graduate visa, just be careful not to get too much credits. If you get too many, it's, it can affect your eligibility. So for a student to be able to get a postgraduate visa, to be able to stay in Australia for two or three years, depending on the region and, and have full work rights, they need to complete a qualification with Torrance for at least two years. So if you get too many credits and you wanna apply for the graduate later, it might be worth telling our admissions team, please don't grant me more than one year credits. So this is something we can do and it's up to you. Everyone has a different story. Everyone has a different study plan. If you just wish to do higher education with us, go back to your home country or something like that. If you don't have any intentions to apply for the graduate, the more credits, the better, because you do a shorter course with us, faster and cheaper. Thank you, Michelle, if you could maybe go to the next slide. Scholarships, so uh, very interesting as well to talk about scholarships. Uh, we have different uh, structure for scholarships. It varies depending on the nationality, depending on the course, but across the board, students can get 15 for health and design, that's the minimum, 20 for education. If they are an alumni, they can get 25. So how does that work? A student finishes a course with Torrance and they plan to extend, we can apply the alumni scholarship. Uh, this, uh, sorry, business, depending on mostly Latin Americans and Europeans, they get the highest scholarship for business, it's 30%. But the most important message for you to take home today, until the end of the year, if you're coming from a, a course from APC as well, uh, you can get 35% in Brisbane. Uh, for Latin America and Europe and 30% for all other nationalities. So the scholarship currently in Brisbane, the minimum you get is 30% and the maximum is 35. This is guaranteed until the end of the year. Uh, we're still studying, we're still analyzing what we're gonna do from 2022. It all depends on the impacts of COVID. Uh, and this excludes a uh, bachelor of nursing. We can't give scholarships, but for all other courses, between 30 to 35%. Thank you, Michelle. So these are the intake dates, guys. Uh, we are one of the universities with more options in terms of starting dates. So this gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to packaging your studies with APC. If you wanna to try to match uh, the finishing date from the vocational qualification you're doing with APC to come to our degrees, it's very easy to find a suitable intake. So talking about the next, the two upcoming ones, 13th September, it's just around the corner, a couple of weeks, five weeks, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have the last intake of the year, which is the 1st November. So then uh, the option will go back to February. So we have all these intakes, sorry, intakes available for you. So I strongly encourage you, if you are planning to, to come to Torrance in the future, even if you're starting your studies with APC, it's very important that you keep an eye on our open days. Open days are a really good opportunity for you to ask all the questions you have. Uh, you're gonna hear from the sales team. You're gonna have the opportunity to speak to the academic team. So any questions you might have go into details of the, the qualification, uh, that's the best opportunity. So this is the, 
the link to register and the date and the time. So the next one is on the 17th August. So open day is a really good starting point for you to plan your, your future at Torrance. So yeah, I think we are uh, wrapping up this section of the presentation. I just wanted to highlight again, benefits of coming from APC guys before we open for questions. I think Pam is gonna organize a Q&A, but guaranteed credits, direct entry upon successful completion, lower COE deposit and uh, job outcomes as well. We are sitting at anything between 90 to 95% employability rate across all courses we offer. And every single day we see successful stories at the campus, people like working for big influential brands out there like we've seen during the presentation. So you are very uh, well assisted uh, choosing APC and Torrance to, to package your studies. Thank you so much, Marcus like, and Michelle. That was such a good presentation. And we are getting lots of questions. You're still able to add your questions in the Q&A, guys, if you have any. Please take advantage of this. I'm going to start off with one here. This is a great one. Um, uh, this student said, I have started my interior design diploma um, at APC. And if I'm interested in, in transferring to a bachelor's, after that, um, I will have one more year of studies at Torrens to get a bachelor's. How does it work in Melbourne? That's the question. Sorry, coming so, from which which course, Rachel? Um, interior design. So, but is it a diploma level with you guys? Um, I believe. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think she's talking about make... ad advanced diploma. Advanced okay. diploma. Yeah. Yeah. So. so... Mm -hmm. No, carry on. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, so imagine if a student of ours has done the diploma and the advanced diploma um, of interior design, how would it work with the pathway? Uh, I believe they're gonna consider what we saw before in terms of mm -hmm. the advanced diploma. So mm -hmm. uh, if we go back to that slide, uh, the best way to go is always to submit all the documents and our admissions mm -hmm. team will assess. But I think we're gonna be following this pathway here, mm -hmm. advanced diploma of interior design, 120 credits towards the bachelor and mm -hmm. they're going to be doing 122 complete so it's going to be a little bit over one year uh, one year and a half close to one year and a half that mm -hmm. they get credits and they will study a year a, a little bit over one year and that year doesn't and matter which campus does it it doesn't matter no it doesn't okay. matter yeah we okay. our admissions department is usually centralized as well i'm in brisbane but a lot of cases from my students in brisbane are being assessed in adelaide melbourne it doesn't really matter and we're going to assess the credits and tell the students uh, how many credits they get and the duration of the future course with us. And this will be applied. Fabulous. Hopefully that helps you, Fernanda. I can see that you're studying both the diploma and the advanced diploma of interior design, having just quickly looked at your file sneakily. Um, and just for those that don't know, Rachel, who was just talking to you all, is our marketing communications manager here at APC. So she's been arranging this webinar for you all, and she's going through some of the questions with me as well. So I'll Thanks, take the next Amanda. question here. Um, mm -hmm. Ivan's asking, if I'm studying marketing, am I still able to study interior design with the same benefits? Uh, not really. Uh, our admissions team will have to do the mapping and check. Usually when courses are related, the, there's higher possibilities of getting credits. We, are, we, we can always find a crossover here and there and find a leadership subject or something that might be common uh, in both courses. But ideally, if you're coming from marketing and leadership, you should be choosing one of our marketing or business courses. If you're doing a design, ideally, you should be aligning with design. So this is how we usually tailor those pathways. That's right. And just for everyone's information, if you're ever interested in APC's pathways, um, if you go to the APC website uh, and you go to courses, you're going to see a little subsection there called pathways, and you can see a full list of all of the pathways that we have. So if your course hasn't been listed here today, it doesn't mean that we don't have that pathway with Torrens because this webinar is focusing on our design pathways, exactly. but we, we do have other pathways with Torrens. Yeah, Rachel, uh, this is really good that you're bringing up. I think the APC is one of the colleges we work with, with that better present the pathway uh, partners. I usually, when I'm doing my trainings or when I'm uh, talking to students, when they come for campus tours, I always open your website to Aww. do this correlation between 
go, if you go to ABC and do this diploma, this is how many credits you get towards mm -hmm. our courses. I think you do a fabulous job on the website. I always oh, visit. Oh, thank you. That's You're really welcome. nice. I'm so happy to hear that from you, Marcos. <laughs> it does show on the website our diploma and advanced diploma of marketing yes. and communication, which uh, leads into bachelors of business and commerce and uh, quite a few selections there. So, Ivan, you might want to go and check there. Otherwise, yeah. you can always do interior design. You just won't get the credits. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. exactly. A really, really good question here from Carolyn, who said she's currently doing uh, the Diploma of Graphic Design and next year she's going to be doing the Advanced Diploma of Graphic Design. And her question is whether this pathway will still be valid when she finishes her Advanced Diploma next year. So you mean the agreement we have with ABC? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so she's finished. She's, she's worried that the, these pathways are only for now. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, definitely. We have yeah. an agreement with APC and it's uh, it's been a really successful one and we have no intentions whatsoever to stop this. So we are definitely going to uh, extend our agreement. So there's no problems if you finish your studies next year in two years time. So you won't be affected. You, you should be able to have the pathway. I'm just looking at Carolyn's file and she finishes in December 2022. So I suppose she's she's a little concerned because she'd start with you in February 2023. But mm -hmm. don't worry, Carolyn, as, as Marcus just said, these arrangements are in place, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And Pam, I have a question for you. Um, I've got one student who's noticed that they're, they're, they're currently going to be studying the next qualification, the, the new qualification for graphic design, and they're wondering uh, whether that's accepted. Yep, the CUA 20. Yes, mm -hmm. um, Torrens, Torrens um, recognises the equivalent courses as the training package uh, changes. Mm -hmm. um, they are deemed equivalent and Torrens does still recognise those. Great, great. So, yeah, don't worry if you haven't seen your course code there for your Diploma of Graphic Design. It's, they're recognising the new one and, yep. and, and the superseded one. Yes, the gra um, graphic design courses, the CUAs have changed yep. to 20s, but the mm -hmm. fashion design and the interior design still are sitting at the course codes that are there that Marcus and Michelle have provided. Great, great. Okay, question you. for you, Marcus. Um, uh, I think this, this student only saw the discount for Brisbane. They said, what about other cities? But you do okay, have... <laughs> uh, great, great question. So uh, at Torrance, we have a very extensive scholarship structure. So if they are unsure, uh, I would strongly encourage them to have a chat with us. Uh, you can get my email address with Rachel and with Pam and we can discuss offline. But I'll, I'll briefly explain. Uh, design at the moment, we have a scholarship which is on a case-by-case -case basis because it has a cap. So we have a certain amount of scholarships each trimester. <laughs> Uh, this one is called Latam Europe Design Scholarship, for example. So we have specific scholarships depending on the course, depending on the region as well. The, the thing with Brisbane is uh, we are trying to increase a little bit the student base in Brisbane, and we went a little bit more aggressive in Brisbane, and we're doing 30 to 35 across all courses in Brisbane until the end of the year. However, if a Latin American and European student apply for anywhere in Australia, I can get approval from our directors for a 30%, for example. If the student comes from a different uh, region, from a different country, they can get a minimum of 15% as well, like it's showing on this screen. So the students uh, are going to get something uh, starting for from 15, going up to 35, but it's on a case-by-case -case basis. But uh, if the student that asks you the question is Latin American and Europe, from <laughs> Europe, talk to me and I can give them a 30% anywhere else in Australia if it's mm. Brisbane 35. But if it's wow. from another nationality, we can, we can work towards wow. That's a, fantastic, a Marcus. Yeah, yeah we currently have 15. Deal. Yeah, we have one. We, we, we can approve uh, with our director's approval as well, a 20% for courses that we usually give 15. We try to be very accommodating and, and flexible at Torrance. So. Fantastic. That's great. Um, just another question here for you, Marcus. Um, can, the, the student has said, can I start the Bachelor of Communication Design in November as well? Do you? That's a good question. Uh, in November, it's, we don't have every single course available. We have a document called CDS, Course Delivery Structure. Our mm -hmm. program directors, they usually plan for future intakes and then they create the class and we start advertising. I wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to tell you now 
if yeah. you could get the details from the student, I just need to assess uh, access, sorry, another document and try to do some investigation to see. The trimester four, we don't have all courses available. It's mm -hmm. limited. Okay. We have limited offers on, in trimester four. But okay. I'm happy to, to search this information and send it to you guys so you can. Okay, great. Maybe we can we can send that in the in the follow up email. Which, which course is it, uh, Rachel? Uh, which? Communication design. The bachelor, right? Communication yeah. design. I'm writing this down so I can do some search. Great. Okay, maybe another great. Maybe Deborah, maybe Deborah oh. could send us a student number through uh, through the Q and A, and we could uh, then provide um, provide her with some information from our course. Yeah. If, okay. If Bobby can, Bobby uh, is with us. If she she can maybe do a search in CDS while we are live here she can send in in the chat oh okay fantastic. great um just another question here um about the master of technology that you offer does apc also have a pathway to the master of, of technology this student studied the diploma and the advanced diploma of program management we need to go back to that uh is, yeah. it, infor is it information systems because with that uh, yeah. the name you're saying it doesn't ring the bell we they have uh, they've also they've also put master of software engineering in cloud computing something like that yes we have that course but we have a master's in of information systems but not and we um, have masters of engineering management so right. I'm not a, so okay. we have engineering management information systems and cloud yeah yeah I think I think I would suggest that you check on the website on the APC website and have a look at the Torrin section because it has all of the pathways that we currently yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the best best way. Okay, this is a really good question, and we get this one all all the time from students because they have a look at the pathway section on the website and then they're curious how they can apply. So this student has said, "How can we get the credit points from APC to Torrens? Just presenting the certificate of conclusion." The transcript that's the question so yeah basically it depends on how they're going to do this if they're going to complete the studies with you guys and then come to torrents is one thing but if they want to do in one uh application mm -hmm. uh maybe pen can yeah uh, Pam. see how you guys are, are operating at the moment so do you guys communicate straight with our admissions team to get the and you provide this the the offer from from APC and then we provide ours, right? The student the student provides um, our offer that that our offer to your admissions team, yes. and uh, and yeah. then once we see your offer, we are able to issue ours. Is that how Correct. it works? Correct. Cool. But if they finish, uh, Rachel, so just uh, to answer the question, if they finish with you guys, basically they send the, the transcripts and the certificate of conclusion. Yep completion our admissions team will assess straight away and, and yeah that would credit. be that would be the testimony they get they receive together with the record of results so that all the, the units are shown there yeah yeah it's really simple really easy. yeah so basically yeah you have a couple of different options you can you can take your 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 certificate from apc to torrens and do it that way you can do an application through apc and as we as as we said before uh, that's only a one subject deposit to get your coe exactly so we've got a couple of different options okay another great question from davina she said due to covid-19 is the bachelor of communication design available 100% online it it they can do 100% online. It's just being an international student, uh, mm -hmm. depending on how, at the moment, the government is being more flexible due to COVID restrictions. Uh, we had people completing courses fully online that they started online and they intended to come back to campus, but things are changing very rapidly. We have options face-to-face. -face. We have options fully online. We have three delivery methods at the moment. Uh, one we call campus virtual. Students need to log into their computer at a specific time. So they have a time slot. They need to be available at that time slot. Uh, the fully online, they do at their own pace. And the fully face-to-face, -face, the name says it all, they can't come to campus. Uh, until a couple of weeks ago, before this lockdown we are going through now, students were able to choose from these three study methods. But things can change very rapidly with the situation the world is living at the moment. But to answer your question, yes, they can. Uh, keeping mm. in mind, if they apply from offshore with a COE and they select Brisbane campus, get the 35% scholarship, if borders open, 
and things are fine and safe for them to come, we are expecting them to fly and come, not to benefit from the scholarship, choosing a campus and complete offshore. If they say to us at the beginning, they want to study offshore, there's a different structure, there's a different scholarship for offshore studies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic. Um, Thank, I, thanks. Can I, can I just remind everybody, mm -hmm. please use the Q&A for your questions. I can see some coming into the chat. Um, and uh, I, whilst, whilst I appreciate Barbie's answering a few of them there, um, if, uh, if you could send them in, drop them into the Q&A, everybody, then, then we'll get them answered. I mean, Aunt Angel's put, is it possible to do a Master of Architecture from a Bachelor of Interior Design with Billy Blue College? So, uh... Coming from a bachelor with us and going somewhere else? Is that Go, going uh, to your master of architecture? I yeah, think. we don't have oh. anything specific, specifically in architecture. Is that correct? We don't have it, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, we have the other way around. We have a lot of architects <clears throat> uh, coming to our masters in, in design. This is very common, but the other way around. A lot of people with the background in architecture back home and they come here and go to our masters and we, we give them a lot of credits for that. Awesome. I can see that one of the students um, has put up her hand. If you could just add your question to the Q and A, cause we're going through them that way. That's, that's, that's the better way of doing it. Um, okay. I have a question from uh, Diana who said, what is the relationship you have with Australian Pacific college? Are you the same institution? No, we're not the same institution. Uh, I are, think they, yeah. are they asking if Florence is the same as you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, we're just we're just partners, uh, APC partners with a lot of other universities. And Torrance also uh, has a lot of different partners in in uh, terms of Alicos or Vet. So we're just partners, and because we have a lot of similar courses as well, and uh, it it. It's a really good uh, opportunity for students to study at APC first and then come to Torrance. But no, definitely not the same same institution. No. So, so Torrance and Billy Blue are the same. Yes. But the Australian yeah. Pacific College is a registered training organisation. It's a privately owned um, organisation institution here in Australia. And uh, because of our strength of uh, our students and, you know, we've been operating since 1994, um, we look for opportunities for our students to be able to pathway and have other outcomes for their education and their employment and their migration. So uh, that's why we make arrangements with um, the lovely Torrens University and, and some other universities as well. So, so we're very close friends with Torrens. You should think of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, it. Thank you, Pam. That's a really good way to describe. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's another and, question there um, about to double check. If I do a diploma of interior design with APC, that means I've got another two years to complete the Bachelor of Interior Design. That's correct. And mm -hmm. if I do the advanced diploma, that means I have one and a half years to finish my Bachelor of mm -hmm. Interior Design. I, I haven't got this, the shot. The, the yeah, we can go back there, but it seems very accurate. Yeah. Uh, so the diploma leaves two years. Yeah, and... advanced. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Yep. Okay. So one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Okay. Now, Beautiful. the next question. One and a half I'm... and one and a half. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The, the next question, I'm not sure if you have this, this, this answer, <laughs> but what it roughly is the cost per term for interior design as an APC student? It's quite tricky for you to give that breakdown, I imagine, because you don't know the nationality of the student. And yeah, you can't, it, or the it's going to be a little bit tricky as well, because yeah. we're going to have to deduct what they study from APC as well from the final price of the bachelor. It's not even on our price list. It always shows the full duration, the three years. Yeah. But when they come from you guys, they're going to be doing just two years. So we, we have to uh, that, and also that, apply the scholarship. So that's a really good point. So some students might not be aware of that. So imagine if you got one full year of guaranteed credit at Torrens, that means that you're not paying for that year. You're only going to be paying for your remaining uh, years or, exactly. or study periods. So it's amazing benefits for our students. It really, really is. Okay. Just trying to roughly bring them. Um, we have some more 
questions. Um, the domestic student question there. I don't know whether mm. you can help there, Marcus. It's um, getting more and more tricky. Next time I'm going to bring yeah. a admissions team, academic team with me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, the Torrens <laughs> University pro provide vet fee help for domestic students for the Bachelor of Communication Design. Yeah, we, we, we do vet fee help. Uh, I just look after international. So I believe the vet fee help applies for all, all courses. So, yeah. So yes. Davina would Bobby, get, so Davina Bobby's would get the credit me here. as well. Bobby's yeah? saving me here saying, yes, they do, Marcus. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm international, like I said, but I, I, I believe, yeah, Bobby confirmed to me that we do. We can offer. She's put it, she's put it in the chat. Yes, they do with a big capital letters, yes. <laughs> yeah. So that, we, that should answer that, Davina. And you'd still get the credits as well if you've studied with us. You still get the credits into, into uh, the Bachelor as well. Yeah, I hear a lot about vet fee help, but I, I don't, net, on my daily basis, I don't deal with domestic students, but yeah. Well, we'll move, we'll move back into international for Let's you. Come to so Sebastian's asking, you talked about the graduated visa, the graduate visa. Could you talk a bit more about it? Would I have to do a minimum of 160 credits at Torrens to be able to apply for this visa? So, so, so what I recall you said was you need to do two years minimum exactly. at Torrens so, in order to be eligible. First of all, I uh, just wanted to highlight, I'm not a migration agent, so I'm not authorized to provide migration uh, guidance. So we're just gonna touch on the basics, whatever is uh, on immigration's website and everyone has access to it. So what I was saying, Sebastian, if you do a course that gives you 80 credits, you are safe, there's no problems because you're gonna complete our bachelor in two years. It gets a little bit tricky when you get 90 credits, 120 credits, and you wish to apply for the graduate visa because the duration of your master's is going to be lower than two years. You need to study a minimum of two years uh, at a bachelor uh, level with us or a master level, but a minimum bachelor to be eligible for your 485. So what I was saying, if you study something that will give you 90, 120, 160, for example, and you really want to apply for the 485 after the completion of your studies, I would strongly encourage you to sit with a migration agent and discuss the topic. And also when you send your application through, maybe state, please don't give me more than one year credits towards my bachelor. We've done this several times uh, and it's worth it if you really want to apply for it because you, I've, I've seen a few people finding this out when it was a little bit too late. And it can yeah. be frustrating. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, Rachel. Really, really good question here as well. Um, is other scholarship benefits related to the score you get in your grades, I guess, from the, the person's asking from their APC diploma or advanced diploma? Uh, is we have some scholarships that uh, they are related to merit, but the ones mm -hmm. we talked about here, most of them are automatic scholarships. So they are... Mm -hmm they relate to where they come from. So wow. uh, depend on the course. So if they're doing education, it's 20%. If they're doing business in Sydney and they're Brazilian, for example, 30%. If they're doing business in Brisbane at the moment, 35. So it usually go by nationality, campus or course, but we have some hospitality merit scholarships. We have a few that are uh, by merit and usually we analyze the grades, the GPA yeah. from other universities and stuff like that. Great. So, so, Marcos, do they need to ask for this when they apply to Torrens or does it happen automatically? Depending on which, which type of scholarship they want to apply for. If they apply, for example, Pam, to study in Brisbane now, it's automatic. So we have a, a blanket approval for that. My admissions is not going to think twice. They're going to check the passport, apply the scholarship. But if they want to do hospitality and they want to apply for, uh, we have one uh, that analyzes the experience in the industry. So, uh, so the merit scholarship is 25% for design and need credit average grades of, uh, Bobby sending me a message here. Let me just cheat a so, little bit here. So maybe <laughs> just to add on regarding the scholarship. So if you are not coming from Latin American or European, you will be able to get the alternative study pet scholarship, 15%. Otherwise, if you want to apply for a bigger scholarship, we have up to 30% design merit scholarship. 
So with the merit scholarship, you need an average grad from your previous uh, university of, or from APC and then the portfolio, about six to 10 portfolio. In a 6.5 IELTS, is that right? Yeah. 6.5 IELTS is for business. So for okay. design is, okay. uh, yeah, because every vertical or every faculty has a different requirement for merit scholarship. So for design students, you need to provide an average credit uh, credit average and then the portfolio. Mm, okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah. yeah, I never. We know, had a merit we know our students do awesome work because we yeah. have uh, we have them submit their work to Rachel when we have our exhibitions, right, Rach? So today is the really last day, by the way, to all design students. Today is the last day to submit your work for the design <laughs> exhibition. <laughs> I'm just going to plug that right now. Reminder. <laughs> <laughs> um, a really good question here um, from from Liana who said. Is it possible to get the credits and the discounts even if we don't start our course at Torrens straight away, straight after our advanced diploma? Because I think she wants to wait a few months. I don't see any problems with that. As, mm -hmm. as long as they send us the, the transcripts and the mm -hmm. certificate of completion, we can apply. We've done this before with, with no problems. Great. Mm -hmm. And um, Carolyn said, does the scholarship apply to international students? Please say yes. If so, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. yes. So yeah, definitely. Are. These are for international students. Yeah, all these scholarships, Carolina, did you say Carolina? Yeah. Yeah, all these scholarships, Carolina, that we were talking about are focused in international students. And if you are Latin American, which you sound Latin American or European yeah. by your name, you can be Colombian <laughs> or Brazilian or uh, even yeah. better. We have higher scholarships for Latin in Europe and Please come to Brisbane. The scholarship is even high and Brisbane is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have one student saying, where can I see all of the fees for every course? Okay, it's on our website. The fee structure is mm -hmm. on our website. We have mm -hmm. everything there. Everything we talked about today in terms of entry requirements, all these things are very easy on the website. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you should be able to find it there. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of students asking about different courses. Once again, please have a look at the pathway page on the APC website to see all of the different APC courses that have pathways into different um, Torrens degrees, because that is that has the full list. OK, I'd like to add that um, based on what you've just said, Rach, um, Maria is asking about a certificate four level course. It's marketing communication. The, mm -hmm. the pathways are generally from the diplomas and the advanced diplomas. So if you're doing a certificate four with us, it's worth your while to continue through the diploma and the advanced diploma and then move into um, the university pathway. Yes, so, something, uh, something with the certificate four pen that a lot of people ask us as well. This can be used as an English proof. So uh, if they present a certificate four from APC, they have entry in our bachelor's and master's as well. This can be used as an English proof. However, you are right in terms of the, the pathway. It needs to be a qualification. Great. Um, Jasmine or Yasmin, I'm sure, um, is asking about how, when should she apply? So um, imagine she, there's an intake coming up. Um, does the application need to be in a month before, two months before? When, when is the application process due? Look, uh, we usually encourage students to start planning the uh, extension their application with us two months before an intake mm -hmm. uh, i would say a month before the intake is doable as well but uh just to avoid any hiccups any headaches because sometimes you think you have everything you need and then we start with the backwards and forwards with documents Ah, oh, student didn't certify or the bachelor they did back home is not sufficient it's not equivalent to a, a bachelor in australia an aqf7 or something they might have some surprises that we need to go around it and, and apply with the work-life experience and organize a CV and get a letter from the employer. Hmm. At Torrance, we are there to try to see students and help them uh, achieving their goals, but uh, leaving things for the last minute can be always uh, painful. So I would say two months is a good uh, time to do it smoothly with no... Yeah. No dramas. Okay, great. Um, the, that particular student that Rachel's talking about is finishing uh, at the end of term one in 2023. So um, that's usually a really busy time, um, you know, 
with visa applications and everything um, around that February, March period, because a lot of visas end in March. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's probably a good idea in a case like that, Jasmine, that you possibly start the process, maybe go back to sort of December, you know, December 2022, you'd be looking at it then because um, it's, Definitely, it, yeah. it gets yeah. very busy with immigration as well for visas. So, And it's yeah. our biggest intake is T1, always February is a crazy one for us as well. So if they want yeah. a lot of uh, yeah attention as well, it's best yeah. to do it in advance. I'm going to take this next question. Um, someone's saying they finished their diploma of graphic design mid-September. Um, I happen to know that that uh, end date is 19 September officially. And your term starts, I think, the week before that um, mm -hmm. for September. Now, I've got no problem with a student um, completing, if, if they've completed their work. But I think, um, I think our graphic design courses have assessments right through to week nine. So that's right through to 19 September. So do you take late starters for your September intake? I guess is probably the question that this anonymous person yes, is asking Yes, us. they can start. They can start late. That's not a problem. It, in, in that case, you are bringing up, it will be one week. So students can start one week late with no troubles yet. Okay, okay great. Um, another question from a student doing a different course. She's currently doing marketing and communication at APC, and she's asking if she can go into graphic design, um, I believe, at Torrens. Um, yeah, same, same thing that we discussed earlier. So that's not a pathway. Uh -huh. I, I'm, sh I'm sure you can apply to Torrens to see if you can get any credits anyway, being um, prior study. But um, you can start graphic design, but you probably wouldn't get any credits. Is that right, Marcus? I believe so. If you could bring up that pathway document, Michelle, again, please. I just don't remember on top of my head all of them we have. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, not for it's the, de not, the yeah. design pathways. Yeah. Um, so this is a really good one as well uh, from Kim. It says, I'm studying at APC now, and this student has, um, uh, has a bachelor degree uh, from the home country. Uh-huh. How about if I go to a master's degree, I believe at Torrens, do I need to get IELTS? How about scholarships for master's degrees? Are they the same? Yes, the scholarships are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, we, our the admissions team is going to assess their bachelor. Like I said, there's some bachelors, depending on the country, they don't have the full duration that we need to accept mm -hmm. the direct entry in the master's. And we're going to ask for work experience and resume and all mm -hmm. these little things. We're going to have to analyze as a case by case thing, but we're, we're going to have to assess the English unless they did in an English speaking country or something. We might make exceptions. Uh, we don't we don't require IELTS for for our degrees. Uh, it just needs to be the, the required English level. So mm -hmm. there's a couple of ways we can do that. Like I said before, if they come from an English uh, provider or an English partner, they can have the entry. If they do a vet course with APC, a vocational course, that yes. can be utilized as an English proof. Yes. Basically, what we need to check is the, the level, the English requirement for our courses and the English level that they achieved with the prior course they did. And we need mm -hmm. to map that. So certificate four, they can do our bachelor's and our master's diploma, of course, advanced diploma. This can all be utilized as an English course. Let's say they haven't studied anything in Australia and want to come to our master's. They can do an OPT test, which is a free placement test online. They can do at home. They can do uh, on campus as well if they don't have a computer. And the results come in two days. So it's pretty, pretty flexible. Great. If, great. if, if she doesn't want to do any of those things, we also can analyze how long has she been in Australia for. We call this mm -hmm. combined profile. So we put together which courses did, did, did they do in Australia so far. Uh, we put all the transcripts together, the time they've been here for, and we can assess that as an English waiver as well. Great, great. Yeah, I think we're and getting very close to end time now. It's four o'clock, but I'll, uh, there's one more question there from mm -hmm. Sebastian. Are the courses at Torrens assessment based as well? Yes, they are. I mean, if they're going to have to do assessments for is that the not I exams think I mean assessment instead of exams yeah mm. yes yes definitely sorry you, i couldn't hear you really well yes exactly and no I, exams they're assessment based and i do want to answer milena's question because i think she didn't uh quite 
get the the table here so she's saying i don't understand why the credits of the advanced diploma of fashion are less than the diploma they're not actually so if you look at the table you can see that you get uh, 40 credit points for the diploma of fashion design and merchandising and you get 90 credit points for the advanced diploma i think what you're looking at are the remaining credits so you can see that uh, if you do the diploma um, of applied fashion design then you have 200 credit points remaining, meaning you need to do those 200 credit points at Torrens. And if you do the advanced diploma, you only have 150 mm -hmm. to do. I think so the, la out the, the last section the there, the lower, the lower, the better. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw <laughs> sorry, Milena, I just saw your, I understood now. I didn't scroll down, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was good for other people who may not have heard. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's, there's, there's one more. Yeah, sorry, Milena's, Milena's added there. Yeah. Um, Carolyn said one more thing. As I mentioned earlier, I'm pursuing a graphic design diploma and an advanced graph graphic design. What subjects can I choose when I continue at Torrens? Is it just communication and graphic design? Or can I choose another subject such as digital media or creative technology? I think Michelle is keen to answer that one. Michelle is. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. So to answer that question, thank you, Caroline, for the uh, for the question. So uh, this block credit, I mean, if you graduate from graphic design, oh, sorry, advanced diploma of graphic design, you will get this remaining credit in our Bachelor of Communication Design. And within the program itself, you will have some elective units. So you, you can choose a digital media or some subjects from creative technology from uh, your elective units. Other than that, we may assess another, uh, another assessment. We can assess another assessment if you would like to transfer to other program. Yeah, so it is possible for you to transfer to other program, but we may need to do uh, another assessment. Okay, I think that's all we've got time for now. Um, Rachel, oh, Rachel's disappeared. I can't see her. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> She's, She's back. back. Um, I think that's really all we've got time for now. Now it's five past four. Um, so yeah. I'd, really, I'd really like to thank um, Michelle and Marcos for being here with us and Barbie who's been on the chat, but um, yeah, especially Saving Michelle us. and Marcos for, for um, presenting this to us. Hopefully you've got a great, insight now into um, the wonderful arrangement we have from APC to Torrens um, and across across the whole eastern seaboard plus um, down in Adelaide so um, yeah at that That's... point I think uh, I will say thank you and, and wind it up. Thanks guys and if you have any questions about where to find that pathway information on the website you can always head to live chat and ask, ask student care, they'll be able to help you with that. Um, it is just, if you hover your mouse over courses, you'll see that link there. You can click there, read all the great pathways that we have at Torrens. And mm. just, and just so, oh, sorry, Marcus, and just a reminder to um, please get, um, submit your designs for the design exhibition today. It's ending <laughs> in one hour. So um, nice opportunity for me. <laughs> I was just gonna say, Bobby, just put my email address in the chat. So save my email address and Michelle, guys, Michelle's. And uh, I'm always happy to take students for a campus tour if you want to come and discuss your individual case and see the facilities, enjoy a beautiful view of the Story Bridge. So I will be super happy to meet you in person and take you for a campus tour here in Brisbane. Thanks, Thank Marcus. you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Bobby. Bye, Pam. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.